Okay, so when it comes to the second bullet point, generalizing professional and ethical standards for practitioners as educators, uh, first thing that comes to mind is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA. And that basically means that we have to make sure that who we're teaching is actually able, you know, we're able to disclose that health information to them. So that could be uh, the patient themselves. They can also be the uh, whoever the patient deems as legally, uh, you can legally access his health, his or hers health records. So making sure that we're being more um, accountable in that way so that we're not just disclosing information to, you know, someone who's not who shouldn't have access to the patient's health information. That, that's a definitely an ethical standard. Another thing I think about is uh, the word compliance. I know we talk about it quite a bit as how non-compliance is a bit taboo now, and maybe we should figure out a better way of like, you know, describing what the comprehension level or what, you know, what this patient needs or are they actually understanding what we're explaining to them as educators. I think that's very important. And then the last thing I think is very, very important to keep in mind is documentation. Um, if we don't document that we've educated a client and they've understood that we educated them on whatever we're teaching them, then it didn't really happen. So, um, and also, you know, if you educate someone and you know, you have to, you might go to court over something years later and you didn't document properly. That's a huge problem. So, uh, yeah, documentation, uh, compliance and comprehension as well, you know, using health literate language and also HIPAA. Those are some big ethical standards I think uh, need to be considered whenever we're thinking about being educators.